Hello there, fellow summoners. Mad Dog HT here. We are in Alliance War again. We got the Mystic Dispersion Defensive Tactic. And um, as far as this war goes, I just have one fight where I'm dealing with that. Um, but I use a Defiance Champ, so basically it makes it irrelevant. Um, yeah, so do not, I, I, I think no one should be overlooking these Defiance Attackers because they really make some pretty awesome matchup, matchups. And for this war, I only have four fights. Um, two in Section 1, two in Section 2, just path fights, nothing too crazy, so it's a lighter load for me. Um, I don't have any problems with that. Um, and we are matched up against PBT Prod Battle Team. And these guys have um, had our number over the last four or five seasons. We've played them four times out of the last five seasons, or maybe three times in the last four, four seasons. And they beat us um, every time. Uh, one time it was a big beatdown, and the other ones have been fairly close, but, you know, we just, we just cannot come out on top. So these guys have banned um, Spider-Man 2099, Torch, and Ghost. So Spider-Man 2099 is a new ban, and um, yeah, we had to change some things up that we normally do because we use uh, Spider-Man 2099 a bit, but that's all right. Um, so I just have Path 5 in Section 1, and we have a Dormammu on this Ebb and Flow knockdown node uh, right back at it where they become immune to debuffs when you knock them down and then Force of Will. So I'm going in with Massacre, and the nice thing about Massacre, Massacre, is that if they are immune to debuffs, they still take the red energy burst damage. So regardless, right now I'm getting the nice debuffs, um, the incinerate damage going on, I'm hitting into the block, and um, I'm trying to get off a special two into the block. If we can get it, but he's a little bit aggressive. Keeps coming at me. My bat is not lit anymore, um, but uh, I just end up throwing. I could have thrown the special three, but I wouldn't have gotten much damage out of that, I don't think. So now we're just hitting into the block, trying to get the bat relit so I can get um, those incinerates on hits. And there we go, we got it relit again. Um, he's, the immunity stuff has fallen off. My fury has fallen off. Now we're just dancing around. Um, I think I do get tagged somewhere in here. I think it's just I, I'm trying to just dash back and get out of the way. And um, I uh, get, end up getting clipped, which cost me a potion. It's not that big of a deal. But hit into the block. It did a decent amount of damage. I didn't have the bat lit, didn't have any incinerates on, but um, the protection fury was active. So it did it did 36k, which is 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 decent. Um, it, it can definitely be better. Um, but here we're we're just about done with this guy, and I think it's coming up. Um, I just blocked the special two. I can't I can fully evade that, but I just wanted to make sure that it didn't slip up. I think it's coming up right here. Oh. There, I, no, I, I tried to do a medium into the heavy off of the stun, which is silly because of limber um, or the masteries. So that was that was just a silly mistake by me trying to, trying to do that. Um, but we get him down, no problem. Really great option against Dormammu where you just don't want buffs. Next, we're going up against this Overseer. Now, you do have to worry about the auto block. But the nice thing is, is the way that you fight and use Massacre is, you know, you want to hit into the block a lot. So when he throws a special and gets his little green auto block shield up, you just hit into the block to stall that out. But you get the benefit. You get the block penetration, plus you're building up your bat, you know, um, charges. And yeah, it just, it just it just works out really, really well. Now you can see we're, we're getting some incinerates on, throw that into the block, ton of damage. That was 84,000 damage into the block. Had some incinerates on. That was crazy. And then here, I think I, this is where I was thinking, yeah, I, I, I mess up. I just don't dex back in time. It's all right. This was my last fight with Masakure. But yeah, 80, 84,000 damage. 
from a special two into the block. That was that was pretty nutty. Um, we're just waiting out that stun sh immunity shield, and then the bat is lit again. We can get some incinerates on. We're gonna knock them down, and I think we're gonna throw a special one. No, we just combo him, and he's gone. So, Masker doing some great things. And here, this is what was frustrating. So not just me, but other people. I finished that fight, and this is all sped up, but it took about a minute. I turned on and off my Wi-Fi and everything. Finally, it goes through. I thought I was gonna get disconnected and lose attack bonus, and that would have been just a terrible way to start the war. Um, but we ended up having a guy, after we had the boss down, simple fight, goes in, and it doesn't even connect him to even attempt the fight and it's really brutal so we actually ended up with one extra death in our battle group that really was just garbage it it shouldn't have happened because it was a simple fight perfect matchup boss down yeah kind of stinks but um yeah we're moving up path nine in section two we have this nick fury on the hazard shift shock and bleed one eye open we apply a white magneto guidance for this fight so that way we can bypass the one I open. Why it works, can't give you a straight answer, but it works. Um, you can stun and hit and not get any damage um, back to you. So when we're in the shock phase, you know we hit him, we have the chance to get shocked, which is go just going to bring the charges back to Nebula and ramp her up. We throw up a special two, you know, early. We didn't have a ton of shocks going on, but sometimes. You know, maybe if I would have kind of been a little bit more patient, it just, the flow of the fight was going, I just threw it. But we got a bunch of damage off. Now I'm building up some charges, waiting for that shock phase to come back. We get 10, and then boom, we hit them a couple times, we get 15. We're getting a ton of damage just from hitting in that, because we're getting those amp charges built up. He gets into LMD, he's under a bar of power. We're just gonna let the LMD um, drain his health. We got a bunch of amp charges that we're building up, and we can get a parry and then a special off. And here I parry, and I just miss the decks in the corner. Not the biggest deal, but check out that regen. Her regen um, in her kit is extremely powerful um, and saves me some health potions. Um, and then if Fury goes down, pretty, pretty simple fight. Definitely could be played better, but um, yeah, it worked. So last up for my assignment was this Cersei. So when we had this assignment, I was like, well, can, can Nebula take Cersei? Sure. Um, now, but one thing that was overlooked is it's not, it's not a great matchup at all. Um, I put a health potion, a smaller health potion in. I have a power start one boost going and you know, kind of was the same plan. You know, I don't want to let her heavy because then I will um, set off her um, glancing uh, buff thing. So I am just going to parry and get some shocks here and there. I'm not getting a lot of good RNG with the shocks coming back to me. Um, I threw off that special two a little bit too late. I didn't get anything doubled up. That was kind of a waste. Um, and so here we're just gonna bait out specials, but you can see she got the glancing up and then she got those yellow buffs, which are transmutations. And now check this out. The shocks don't last very long, um, like at all. So that first one went, but now she's got five, six of those. So check out this next batch of shocks. Boom, they're gone. Um, and I had no idea what was going on. And, and I'm like, well, it has to be that yellow buff stuff. So I'm trying to figure out how to get rid of them because they have a timer and they're coming on and off but she's getting them because of those armor ups um, the passive armor ups from the nerves of steel she gets a transmutation when when she gets an armor up so every 10 seconds she's going to get one of those and those transmutations um, they cap at five before they um, start having a timer and fall off they're permanent um, now what I didn't know is if she would have thrown a special two, she would have gotten rid of them, which, you know, would have been good on me to know ahead of time. Um, but this fight is going to last a lot, lot longer than I thought. So I'm just going to go to special three so I can hopefully get some more shocks and whatnot. 
And you might say, well, why didn't you know about this and everything? I did my duels. I did my due diligence to do the duels. Now, did I read the profile? I didn't read all her abilities because when I went into the duel, I have an unawakened five-star Cersei. And I'm like, and she's like rank two. So I just went in with my two-star Nebula. So the matchup was very, very similar um, as far as like I had awakened Nebula versus unawakened Cersei. And the one thing that I didn't consider was my two star did not hit hard enough to manually trigger the glancing. Um, and I never let her heavy. And so she never got any of the transmutations while um, I was doing the duels. Now check out that regen. I mess, I slip up on the L1 and I get all the health back. Now here, I'm not, I don't, the shocks aren't doing much damage at all. She's glancing everything and I'm just like, okay, I'm gonna get to special three and we're gonna just go for it. We're not gonna wait for a special two or anything like that. And there's 2%, 2% less. So I'm just, ple I'm like, please, please, please kill her. Just enough damage to get her down. Kind of a sketchy fight. We made, through, made it through. Would we assign that again? Yeah, maybe. It's not the best matchup. I know how to deal with it going forward, but yeah. So just just a just a funny thing that it just didn't work out as well as I had hoped, but uh, we got the full attack bonus, and that's really all that matters. Um, and then last up, we're gonna showcase the boss takedown from our battle group, Cloud 33. He's going in with his eye bomb and um, Immortal Abomination, do not underestimate this dude. He is a great option to use as a Defiance Champion. Now, the Super Scroll is Defiance. It's unawakened, so it doesn't get the power gain. But um, he he is not poison immune. And with I-Bomb being Defiance, he's not going to get any buffs, so you don't have to worry about the global miss. You do have to worry about that falter timer that's going to come around. Um... But yeah, we're just, McLeod is just going to get to the special two, throw it, get the acid burn up, and then just keep spamming special ones and have him throw his special ones. Um, and then just keep an eye out for that falter that's coming up. He gets smacked by the L1. That's right, he's, he does, he is running it um, in Volmbu, so he's got a few hits that he can take. Plus, he's going to be healing, healing from his poisons. And, you know, the, the energy vulnerability that comes up after the falter and the falter debuff, it's also going to heal him. And then you're going to see he's about to get acid burn. Yeah, there it goes. And just check out the damage. It is, it is very, very nice. And then he's just going to spam special one to keep up his aura up, the toxic aura. Um, and then just keep getting, keep getting those acid burns. And I think it might be four of them and it is enough to take him down and McCloud pretty much finishes with I think a full yellow bar or very very close to it full health um, very safe fight the other nice thing is um, you know any block baiting and all that puts weaknesses on uh, super scroll so um, you know block penetration and stuff like that is very very minimal I bomb is just he is just a beast. Um, I have a rank through I-Bomb. I haven't actually used him yet um, because I've been like doing stuff with Massacre and, and whatnot. Um, and he's kind of been using his I-Bomb. He's been the I-Bomb guy. And he's, yeah, he's a great, great option. Do not underestimate this guy. I think he's gonna get one more acid burn here and it's just lights out. So great job to McLeod um, for getting this boss down very cleanly very easily um, and then as I mentioned you know we we did end up um, this war our battle group had two deaths two legit deaths um, and it was just really disappointing that after the boss was down we had a guy go in to finish up two fights super easy fights and it dis it didn't even start the fight for him so we ended up with three deaths they had two deaths so we technically we lost that but um, that was all of the deaths. So our battle group two had three deaths. They ended up with eight. Our BG1 and BG3, great job. Great job to the planners, Bird and Fox. 
did a great job and everybody on the team for, for just executing two donuts. We were surrounded by donuts um, and yeah, so it was, it, was, it was good stuff. So we came out victorious. We finally got our revenge on PBT. Um, it's a solid win for my, for my war, four fights, four kills, no deaths, pretty light load, totally okay with that. 24 fights on the season, 24 kills, one death. Um, we moved up four spots um, to Masters 8 overall, and we're 3-1 and one in the season, so it's a great start. Um, solid win, solid performance all around, and if we can keep playing like that as a team, coming up with these, you know, three, you know, zero to zero to six is kind of where we're um, aiming for. If you can, if you can get in that range, it's it's you have a really really solid chance of winning most wars. Um, so yeah. And then here is my item use, um, pretty minimal. Just a couple boosts. I boosted twice for the two sections, um, two health pots. Um, and that's mainly just because I didn't I didn't play extremely clean this war. I had a I had mistake basically in every fight, but yeah, um, it wasn't too um, crucial. And so yeah, a few items um, on a minimal workload. Totally happy with that. Um, attack bonus. That's all that matters. Item use, style points. Meh. It doesn't really matter at the end of the day. And then last up, so I added two fights to Massacre, two fights to Nebula. So they're up to seven and three. Um, thing, my main, usually what my main attacker, he sat the bench. Totally fine with that. I'm, I'm fine with um, just filling in with whatever the team needs. And yeah, had some interesting fights. Cersei, that Cersei fight, I will not forget that ability um, going forward. Another Dormammu um, on my on my path. The Fury fight, pretty simple one. But yeah, that's what we got for this war. Um, hope your war season is going well. And uh, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.